Have you ever wondered if technology could play a part in the unfolding of end times prophecy? It's a question that has been stirring up intrigue and provoking thought far and wide. As we find ourselves in an era where technological advancements are happening at a pace faster than we've ever seen, it's hard not to ponder on the potential intersections of these advancements with the ancient prophecies. It's a curious blend, isn't it? The ancient and the modern, the mystical and the logical, the foretold and the yet to unfold. The very idea that these seemingly disparate realms could intersect is a source of fascination. It's like a cosmic puzzle with pieces from different epochs fitting together to form a coherent picture. Let's embark on a journey, a chronological exploration of sorts. We'll start from the ancient world with its cryptic prophecies and travel forward in time, tracing the path of technological evolution. Could it be that the prophets of yore foresaw the rise of technology? Could the cryptic verses hold clues to the developments we're witnessing today? It's a tantalizing thought, one that we'll be exploring in depth. Picture this, the ancients, without the knowledge of modern science and technology, foretell events that eerily mirror the world as we know it today. They speak of a time where knowledge increases exponentially, where people traverse great distances in short spans, where the world is interconnected like never before. Sounds familiar? It's almost as if they're describing the world of today, the world of high-speed internet, supersonic travel, and global connectivity. But how could they have known? Were they simply ahead of their time? Or is there a more profound connection, a divine link perhaps? It's a question that has been puzzling scholars and enthusiasts alike. And it's this intriguing connection that we'll be exploring. As we set out on this journey of discovery, we invite you to join us, to question, to ponder, and to marvel at the intriguing blend of prophecy and technology. We promise you it's going to be a fascinating ride, so buckle up and stay tuned as we delve into the ancient world and its prophecies. Let's journey back to the ancient times, a period rife with prophecies. Imagine, if you will, a world where the wheel was the pinnacle of technology, where the written word was a luxury, and where the concept of machinery was as alien as the stars in the night sky. In this era, prophets and seers spoke of fantastical visions that seemed impossible. The prophet Daniel, for instance, foresaw a time when knowledge would increase and people would run to and fro. Could this have been a prediction of our current era of information technology and rapid transportation? Then there was the revelation of John, which described two witnesses that could shut the heavens and smite the earth. In an age before rockets and satellites, such a prophecy might have seemed absurd. Yet today we recognize the potential of technology to influence the weather and even cause devastation. From the ancient times, we now move forward to the Middle Ages where prophecies took a different turn. In the Middle Ages, prophecies evolved, taking on a more mystical turn. This period, steeped in religion and superstition, saw the birth of prophecies that boggled the minds of many. Yet it's fascinating to consider how these cryptic forecasts might have been hinting at the advent of technology. Take, for instance, the prophecy of Merlin, the legendary wizard of Arthurian lore. His prediction of dragons in the sky breathing out fire might have been seen as a fantastical image of doom. But could it also be an early interpretation of our modern-day airplanes or rockets emitting trails of fire as they ascend into the heavens? Another intriguing prophecy comes from the visionary Hildegard of Bingen. She spoke of a great beast that would speak to all corners of the earth without moving. At the time, this might have been seen as a portent of a monstrous entity. But in retrospect, could this beast be a metaphor for our global communication networks speaking to all corners of the earth without moving from its place? Then we have the prophecies of Nostradamus, a name synonymous with mystic predictions. His quatrains are filled with cryptic references, one of which speaks of iron birds that would darken the sky. Could this have been a foretelling of our mechanized age? where aircrafts crisscross our skies? These interpretations, while speculative, offer a fascinating perspective. They suggest that prophecies from the Middle Ages, once seen as mystical and otherworldly, might have been early visions of a world reshaped by technology. 
It's a testament to how advancements can be perceived as both a blessing and a curse, depending on the lens through which we view them. In the grand tapestry of history, each era brings with it new developments, new prophecies and new interpretations. The Middle Ages, with its mystic prophecies, gave way to the modern era, where technology rapidly evolved. And as we continue to push the boundaries of innovation, who knows what prophecies we are fulfilling or creating for the future. As we entered the modern era, prophecies took on a new light as they collided with the technological boom. The dawn of the technological age has breathed new life into ancient and medieval prophecies. As we ride the wave of innovation, we find ourselves reinterpreting these age-old forecasts under the lens of modern technology. Consider, for instance, the prophecies that speak of knowledge increasing. For millennia, these words were interpreted in various ways. However, in the age of the Internet, when the entirety of human knowledge is virtually at our fingertips, this prophecy takes on a starkly different meaning. Then there's the prophecy of the image of the beast that could speak and cause those who refuse to worship it to be killed. In a time before technology, this was viewed as mystical or symbolic. But in the era of artificial intelligence and robotics, could this image be a technologically advanced creation? Or what about the prophecy that tells of a star falling from heaven? In the past, this was often interpreted literally. Today, however, with our understanding of satellites and space debris, could this star be a piece of technology plummeting back to Earth? And let's not forget the prophecy of the mark of the beast, a sign that no one could buy or sell without. Could this be interpreted as the advent of digital currencies and the potential for a cashless society? These are but a handful of the many prophecies that we can now view through the prism of technology. It's fascinating, isn't it? How words written thousands of years ago seem to eerily align with our modern world. But as we marvel at these parallels, we must also pause and ponder. What does this mean for us living in this age of rapid technological advancement? How does technology fit into the grand tapestry of prophecy? These interpretations lead to thought-provoking questions about the role of technology in the fulfillment of end times prophecy. We've journeyed from ancient times to the modern era, exploring the intersection of technology and prophecy. We've seen how the past has shaped our understanding of prophecy and how interpretations have evolved over time. We've delved into the significant role technology plays in bringing these prophecies to life, from the advent of the printing press to the rise of the Internet and artificial intelligence. This path of exploration has led us to a profound realization. The technology with its rapid advancements and global reach could indeed play a pivotal role in the fulfillment of end times prophecy. We've seen how technology has the potential to influence global events, shape societal norms and even challenge our understanding of reality. As we stand at the precipice of further technological advancements, we're left with a thought-provoking question that bridges the gap between the ethereal and the tangible. As we continue to advance technologically, one cannot help but wonder, could we be living in the prophesied end times?